are you hiding? Am I not meant to be? No, no, I'm, it's I'm fine. I'm just. Okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm not specifically <laughs> hiding. I know okay. it looks a bit weird that I'm. You There's can just, just a see man's a arm. We don't know like, who it just is. Like kind of sat in a cafe. Well, hopefully you I'm know just who like, it is. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm. I'm just. With, I'm busy. Okay. But anyway, you, you carry let me on know being busy. You need me. I will need you. And I'll be with you in a second. Okay. Thank you. Okay then. Because Jim's one of my favourites this month. <laughs> That's not why. <laughs> he is one of my favourites this month. It's but. Funny. Shut up. Right, shh, shh. You get on with what you're doing and I'll tell you when I'm ready for you. Okay, welcome to the shortest favourite video you've ever seen. You watch it just be really, really long now. Basically, I've only got five items that are my favourites. Jim looks like he's just fallen asleep. Is it that boring? C please stay awake, stay awake, guys. Okay. Right. Okay, so my first favourite is LucasAid Sport. Just because I've still been going to the gym this month, <laughs> still been going as <laughs> if so I'm going to fail at some point but I, I know it's probably not good for you is LucasAid Sport good for you? I mean in the context of using it at the gym while you're okay. working out it's, it's not, not too bad okay not, not... so yeah because I go to work all day and then go straight to the gym afterwards I don't know I just kind of need a little bit of energy before I go to the gym so I've been getting these LucasAid Sport bottles they're like 39p from B&M if you go to one of the pound shops they're like two for a pound or a pound or something but cheapest place I found them is B&M for 39p that's ridiculously cheap so this is like a nice lemon and lime flavor I pretty much like all the flavors yeah it's I know they're not great for you to use all the time but I have been using these occasionally and they're delicious okay my second favorite this month is this hand cream child's farm for sensitive skin what does it say suitable for sensitive and eczema prone skin. Now this is basically like baby moisturizer. There's been a big hype about this brand, this Child's Farm brand, being like a massive cure for eczema. I'm not entirely sure I've bought the right one because one of them was specifically called baby moisturizer. This one's just called moisturizer. So I'm not 100% sure whether it's the one that's supposed to cure everything, um, but it has actually been working because I get eczema on my hands and this has actually been working well to kind of soothe my hands and it's really nice the way it goes on. Have you tried it yet Jim? I have not. No? I'm not going to ask you to try it now because but yeah <laughs> it goes on it goes on really nicely. Can you have you smelt it? What does it smell like Jim? Ooh. You have to guess the smell. <laughs> it's like lemon. <laughs> Have you decided yet? Does it take this long? It's kind of like lemon, it's like those KFC wipes. There's a little bit. Anyway, it's supposed to be grapefruit. That's what I said. That's not what you said. Are you going to cut it in like say grapefruit? And organic tea tree. Did you expect me to get that? Yeah. We're all rooting for you. you're going to Rooting. Get. All right. Organic all right, tea all right. tree. Alright, anyway. Roots. There's a joke there. Anyway, it actually is working. You should try it sometime, Jim. Okay. Not that you get eczema, but, you know. Soothe your dry hands. So I'm, you work so hard, your hands are dry. I like the X-Men, so I don't really. But, I mean, I like I like the X-Men, just not the movies. The movies are rubbish. But I like the cartoon from the 90s. Don't like the worry. Um, I won't include him in my next favourite video. I um, warned you. But yeah, buy this. 3 99 from Boots. And yeah, it works. So buy this one or try and find that baby particular, the, ah! or try and find the baby specific one because oh, apparently weird. it's good. So give it a go. Another kind of beauty product. This one is from Aldi and they are charcoal face wipes. They look a little bit weird. Um, so instead of white face wipes, they are black. So usually when you wipe your face with a white face wipe, you know, you can see your makeup on it. But this one, I kind of like the fact that you can't see your makeup on it so it doesn't look like it's dirty. I don't know. It's quite good at removing your makeup, though it doesn't actually necessarily say... I'm going to try and stuff this back in here now. It doesn't necessarily say that it removes makeup. They're just deep cleansing action. Black wipes with hazel, apparently. 
Um, but yeah, I don't think it's actually meant to remove makeup, but it removes mine because I don't really wear much. So, but sometimes I maybe need to just get a little bit of actual makeup remover to remove my mascara. But apart from that, it removes everything else on my face. So yeah, I'm really liking them and it hasn't given me spots. Very good, I don't like things that give me spots. Not the best idea. Um, right, that's that done. I'm not doing very well at this gym. I need some food, I'm hungry. Okay. My fourth favorite is this necklace that I got from Fat Face. It was probably about 100 pound, but don't tell Jim that. No, I'm joking, it was in the sale, it's fine. Um, yeah, it's just a long sterling silver necklace. Yeah, with jewelry, I don't like to wear jewelry that's fake jewelry. Um, I don't like the necklaces that kind of go green and things and kind of lose their color. It has to be a sterling silver one. So when I found, because you find a lot of long necklaces that are just fake ones, but I wanted a long one that was sterling silver and I really, really like the little charm at the bottom, which is just a little soft pink bead and a little silver disc. No idea. Do you like it, Jim? Yes. Fancy. I think it's good. It's weird. <laughs> it's good. It's weird. In, I think that's a good thing. In a good I way. think Jim like, uh, I like Jim saying weird. it's weird is, is a good thing. That's why I'm with um, you. So yeah, I really like this necklace because it's weird. <laughs> Thank you, darling. That was very sweet. Anyway, um, yeah. Now, Jim, I actually need you. Oh dear. Okay. Come on That's in. Because I've just finished whatever I was doing. Yay! Hello. Okay. My fifth favourite is. To just sort your hair out. Yes. What's my fifth favourite, Jim? I've forgotten. Yeah. No, I'm asking, testing <laughs> you, seeing whether you actually know why I've brought you into this video. Of course, I know. Imagine if you actually forgotten. Have you forgotten? No, it's uh, Jessica Jones. Yeah. Season two on Netflix now. I only wanted Jim to join in because I don't know how to explain what Jessica Jones is. Uh, okay, so <laughs> it's uh, Marvel. You know Marvel. You know Marvel. Good old you know, Marvel. The Avengers. Uh, they struck a deal with Netflix a few years ago to make uh, exclusive content for Netflix. Uh, so they made Daredevil, uh, Jessica Jones season one, they did Daredevil season two, then Luke Cage, Iron Fist, The Defenders, and now Jessica Jones season two. And it's all kind of connected somewhat loosely well, to the <laughs> MCU, um, you know, Captain America and all that. It's kind of in that world, um, but obviously they're not pimping around in the back. They're just, it's just kind of... Pimping around. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this was season two, and it was it was really good. Oh my god, it was so good. Yeah, um, I thought Jim explaining that would make a little bit more sense than me just going, I don't know, it's like a comic book superhero show that is good on Netflix. Yeah. That's the thing, you don't have to be a massive Marvel Mar Marvel yeah. fan. You don't need to be a fan of Marvels. <laughs> you Watch don't Netflix to... instead, and there's a show called Jessica Jones. Yeah, you don't Put have to. Put the Marvels be. away. It's not the 50s anymore. Marvels are my favourite yeah. thing. Oh, there, there was the Punisher as well, but that's kind of... It is connected to all these, but that he's not really a defender. I didn't watch that one because I was thinking that was going to yeah, be a bit too bad. You just finished it, didn't you? I did, you it watched really it all like, in one really day. <laughs> but Jessica Jones, we finished pretty fast. Two days. Such a good show. It was really good. Uh, it wasn't as good as the first season. Yeah, that's what you think. Uh, I believe the that. The first well. season had David Tennant in, and you can't really yeah. go wrong that's true. with David Tennant, especially as a villain. That's just true. being David Tennant. It was amazing. Um, it was it was really good, but the characters and the acting and, and stuff. It's, it's still good. It's still really good. Uh, obviously, if you've seen those things, go check it out. But as Kat said, you can just dip into season one, and you don't have to know anything who about Daredevil. Yeah, is. You don't you need don't. to know what comes afterwards. Um, there is Luke Cage oh. is in season one. So oh, he is? Yeah. you can watch season one and then maybe Luke Cage if you enjoy that character. Yeah. But uh, overall, yeah, season two was really good uh, still. Um, it's hard to, you can't really, I can't really spoil it or anything. No. But, um, yeah, it, it, it's a series that's good and we liked it. She's got super strength. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah just brief. She's got super strength and that's her like superpower. Yeah. Um, and she works as a... PI yeah, pers private, yeah. personal investigator. Personal private investigator. Investigate. She will investigate <laughs> your personal needs. She does. Well, yeah, personal she's bias. a she's like a private eye. Mm. Um, and yeah, she's got these superpowers, and she's angry, and she likes to drink a lot. And in this season, they kind of explore kind of why she has powers. history. Yeah, and that's 
That's but the first one was David Tennant as the baddie guy. So yeah, you should definitely watch guy. it. Oh, so good. See, see why I needed you. Anyway, there you go. That's all my favourites for this month. Haven't included a game in this one because I haven't finished Final Fantasy. Yet. Haven't finished Final Fantasy yet, so I have not started a new game. We kind of. So I kind of have, and I will probably mention that in April's favourites. So little. Sizzle, like, yeah. unless, unless you're on our Instagram, in which case you, you know already. Shh, it's only on my story, so it'll only last for today, so you will have missed it. Unless you've seen unless it. You, yeah, and unless you, yeah. And now watching it, that's possible. That's possible, you know what it is. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. It hopefully will be a vlog or something, my next one, I think. Because I've done like a lot of like shopping hauls, favourite videos, more shopping hauls, favourite videos. So I might do an Easter vlog with this one. See you next time. Thank subscribe. You. Do that as well. Click that sexy subscribe button. Thank you. That's out.